What's up, Scrollgers? It's an ERP here, and I am recording this the morning after the 24 hour scroll stream, where I had a two hour segment on it. It was basically Scrolls' last big hurrah before uh, the, the servers are likely ending. Which two drops should I get rid of? I guess the Wings Warder. He has energy. Hopefully, we're not playing energy then. Um, but. So I was happy that I was able to secure a time slot that I could use, and I played. Played some challenge matches against everybody. My segment of the stream was from 1 a.m. to 3 a.m. Eastern time, so it didn't have quite as many viewers as like the like much earlier where everybody in Europe was awake, everybody in America was awake, but it was still good. Pack file, you don't have Dominion yet, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Yeah, this is like a Dominion deck. I'm not sure what kind of Wrath deck this is for Chief Bromden. The Vengeful Vetter tells me that it's not necessarily aggro. But Wing Shield is still good against all kinds of growth. But I have to be careful not to fill up my board too much before like he just starts quaking me. So yeah, if you want to watch some scrolls, I know some people have been a little bit annoyed with uh, the like content um, amount of content difference between my duelist videos and my to go for scrolls hoping I have like a way to kill this nah I'll let him get energy I'm gonna go for the royal vanguard next turn yeah so I know some people would love to for me to upload more than like a scroll video every few days uh, but Sadly, um, I will continue to devote most of my videos to do list because I think that game is actually going somewhere. But now there is like a bit over two hours of footage of me playing serious matches, serious matches on the uh, Nerp Streams YouTube channel. So you can go check that out if you just want to watch some scrolls. So I am now top decking. Um, Kinfolk Vet. Finally, he has something he can kind of Kinfolk Vet, but it's still going to be pretty big. Now that dies to a Quake, though. Wings Cleaver, get rid of it on Dominion yet. Relorus. Uh, no spell to play with it, but I'm still going to play the Relorus. I'll go ahead and do I move down and almost let him have middle idle then? I don't want to give him that. Um. Hmm. I think I'm going to. In case he has like some double crimson bull or something. Move down like that. But now I want to keep these guys next to each other. And I play the Rellaros in front here to protect maybe? Yeah, it looks kind of good. I'd love to actually. Ooh, actually. I put Asian Knight as well. Yeah, let's play Asian Knight as well. Good. That's good because now we have two things on this row. Otherwise, it was just a skirmish attack. So if he has the balls to move down and attack this middle row. I'll have a skirmisher raging down his path. I'm out of cars now. I am top decking up, oh, but he does have a quake. I was kind of thinking that he didn't have a quake there because he was he played a rat king and kinfolk brave, so it kind of like threw me off. So that was kind of stupid of me to play uh, that last aging knight. And I'll protect against veterans again. And I, I fully assume in double quake, and it's gonna be tough to swallow. I don't think we play this game too well. If it, yeah. Oh, no double quake. That's perfect. Kinfolk Vet's gonna be able to destroy that, and a ragged wolf's gonna be able to destroy that. Okay. Wars disruptor. All sacrifice for scrolls. I guess. Uh, Oh, 
I want to put these guys next to each other, that's the thing. Hmm. How do I go about doing that? This is going to have to move up. Unfortunately, my roller ass is going to have to go in the front row. And then I'll play Vanguard, protect this Vanguard. Okay. So if if my board state survives right now, I'm able to probably just at least clear his row. Um, I'm really afraid of a rally, a yeah, a rally or a kinfolk veteran ragged wolf again. Does he have it? What's he doing? Misclick. Does he have Ragged Wolf? Please don't have Ragged Wolf. Good. Okay. I'm not sure what else he was trying to do there. So five's gonna clear that row and then three. Well, if I can clear his row, so I'm gonna replace those. I don't wanna really fill up the board, so. I probably should have this touching things, whoops. That's stupid. And I'm not gonna play the Royal Skirmisher. Because a second quake is definitely on its way. Too bad I wasn't able to destroy this idol last term, he's then the wings cleaver can go to town. Oh, I see. He meant to, I think, better in this Vanguard, so that it would take down to two health, and... Yeah. Now, uh... Do I go for Dominion? Probably not. Um... I think I actually I think I will. The thing is like there's no point in playing the wing sleeper this turn because it's a cat sounds like I'm gonna play it now and then it's gonna get Dominion. I guess there is a point. Yeah, I'll play it, whatever. And I hate to use four attack a th waste three attack on a one health idol, but I want the Dominion. Yeah, so that was kind of annoying because now it's almost as if I played it next turn. Probably should have waited to play the Wings Cleaver because now it has three counts on when I didn't need to. I could have, I could just play this turn and be at the same point. So I probably should have just played a Ducal Skirmisher last turn. Don't know why I did that. And hopefully we can snipe Middle Idol. That is what I want to do. Blessing of Haste. Well. I might be able to win the game. Let's go ahead and pother this. Hopefully, pother's down. Nope. Favored. Favored, I think. Might be very good for a win. Um, I could Blessing of Haze versus a Beam Potion here. I think I have to play it on this, though. To get everything more attack. Okay, does this win the game? So let's paste that. This idol's down. And then. Let's see if haste here. Was that plus five attack? 
Okay, that's gonna be game. Can attack in the middle there. Well, that was cool. Let's see if he's around for another. And I'll play some. I'll play some ranged. Uh, let's play some. Automata energy actually. See if he's around for another one. Cool. Should probably make a playlist on my channel for these videos because I haven't really been naming them like I haven't really been naming them anything. It's not my uh, old structured video style of ranked matches, judgment matches. It's more just like random challenge matches. So I'll probably make a playlist on my channel for these challenge matches up until the end of scrolls. So get rid of the early power trip, I guess. I just made sure to kept that for power trip thunder surge. Okay, well, if he plays a brave now, I don't really have an answer to it. Oh well. I mean I guess I could play canister on the bottom. Or blast is definitely good. What do I want to re replace here though? Or I'm talking about duelist. Replace. So I want to keep the copper, I think. Xcog maybe? Get rid of that. It's going to be a little slow. I need the potency burst. Yeah, I'll get rid of the Xcog. And I'm going to play the wind up auto actually instead of the canister right now because I'm not directly threatened. Since when does this have two health? I'll have three health. Whatever. So he can't really come down and threaten me. He's going to come down and threaten. Oh, because he's that thing. Okay, in that case, I'm going to I'm gonna have to scare him. Ooh, Battle Dance Copper Auto is pretty, uh, looks pretty good, but I think I'm going to have to get rid of that. You know what? Actually, I should probably just Potency Burst the Brave right now. Yeah, I'll just Potency Burst the Brave. And I'm going to keep the rest of my hand. So Potency Burst that, and I will chase that. Because I don't think he's going to be able to attack this turn. Even if he plays a Rat King, it ends up with one countdown. Goes for resources and plays. Uh, he's gonna have a double ride wolf, right? Nope, only one ragged wolf. He must have a five drop there, probably a veteran. Um, hmm. Or it could be a rat king. Well, in that case, I'm gonna. I'm gonna go for. Go higher and play canister and copper. Canister in front, and copper actually all the way in the back. So if he plays a Rat King, he'd be able to destroy my Canister Automaton, unfortunately. If he plays two units, he can two creatures, he can kill my Canister. Veteran? Yeah, veteran. Okay, at least it's gonna be a, a, a trade. And now I can just simply pay three energy to clear his to clear his board, and he has no cards either. Noah? What? What? Have you seen my wallet? No, I have not. Are you sure you didn't take it? I'm sure. Sorry about that. Uh, so I'm not going to play the blast out of this turn. I'm going to sacrifice the scout for scrolls. Burn. Well, I guess I'll burn instead of paying the three energy. Actually, I don't know. I feel like I should just pay three energy. All right, we're just gonna have to have a no no turn, no play turn here. Actually, that's not really no play. I am using three of my four resources. Okay, we have a very good hand now though. Uh, he is top decking, so the chances he has a right or veteran for this are not insanely high. Um. One thing about my deck is it'll, it is a little weak to Quake. The armor on the automatons doesn't really survive this stuff. Okay. Now it's time just for me to play my... Ooh. I could Copper Auto and just hope for a lucky smash. Nah, that's, that's a little ballsy. I'm just going to build my board down here. 
that blast automaton's gonna be hard to penetrate without a without a quake or anything. Unfortunately, this dies to two quakes, but the cannon auto will sur will survive two quakes. I have a burn, so Rat King, interesting. Maybe he's gonna fertile soil with some of those, maybe. And he's gonna move down. Interesting. Top the canister, which is pretty good against growth, but I want to go to six and play the cannon. Okay, we have pretty strong units on the board right now. I suspect he's gonna do like fertile soil now. Because I don't see why else he'd play the Rat Kings. Eventually, will be better. I'm gonna try to get some. I wish that Great Wolf was like already quaked and I had three health so I could burn it. Otherwise, I will probably just burn the Vengeful Vetter so I can't get him any growth. He's gonna move up. Pow. Oh, Forge. Forge could be good, but it died. Uh, I don't know, do I really just want to keep pumping that? I'm gonna go for cards, see what I draw. I'd play an Xcock, probably not a Forge. Maybe actually, maybe I would play a Forge. Burn them in resources. Yeah, sure, Forge isn't too bad. So I will burn this. And I'm setting myself up for another. Oh, Thunder Surge. Should I keep that? Screw it. He's 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 separating for Thunder Surge. We're not gonna get a high value play out of it. I'll just play the forge up here. So now that at least lets me um not sink cards into the board where they're just gonna be quaked away. I'm gonna be able to pump. But I suspect he's gonna quake this coming turn. This turn right now. My forge would take three damage. All right, he's gonna veteran, which is only gonna deal one damage to that. I don't know why he moved the rat there. Is our rat's gonna deal zero damage? Did you, did you forget it had armor too? You may have forgotten that it had armor too. Um, in that case, I could just destroy a couple idols. Nah. Potion of resistance. Cannon. I want to destroy the Kinfolk veteran, so just in case he has weird stuff happen. So I will do that. And I'm gonna go ahead and give this post. No, I'm not gonna. I'll save that. I'll just pump it. So now yeah, I'm not sure what Chief was trying to do there. Like I'm pretty sure he forgot that I had armor too, because there's really no point in mean, playing both like moving down and playing that doesn't get this down one health. He seems like it would have been more effective on the forge. He did say he's playing the same deck, right? Okay, so it looks like he is being kind of aggressive now. He's not really gonna. He's not. Doesn't look like he's playing a lot of quakes. So, I will go ahead and move towards the middle now. I can deal two damage to this. I really should probably just potion resistance though. Um. Yeah, potion plus a cannon, or a potion plus an X cog. I'll, I'll, I like the cannon more. It's going to have more firepower. Two potions. That's pretty strong. So move up. Move up with you. Move up with you. And then I'll play a cannon up here. Because I don't want to get like Q 
healed and I'll play potion resistance on my big dude. So if he has a god hand this turn, he will not be able to bust through my middle row. He would be able to actually not even destroy my cannon on what's on down here. So kind of nullifies his abilities to do things next turn. And he didn't deal a lot of idle damage to me so far. So I'm pretty feeling pretty confident about my board state right now. Pretty confident. He's going to move up. I might just chase him with my cannon though. Okay, it's going to bring it down to 3 health. And next turn I'll probably... Okay, there's Kinfolk Brave. My turn... Thunder Surge. Thunder Surge looks pretty good. Let's get rid of Gunata for Skrulls. Battle Dance. Kind of like Battle Dance. Or Thunder Surge. Which one? Thunder Surge, I can destroy the Great Wolf. Battle Dance, I can destroy this as well. I think Thunder Surge is more effective right now. I'll save the Battle Dance. Because then I still have all my creatures attacking the next turn. Okay, so I destroy that. This is Potion Resistance, so I don't, I don't care if I move it up. And then I think I'm going to play... Potion of Resistance on something here as well. Let's play it on. Play it on this. Move this. I want to threaten the Yarl. Okay. So our rows are impenetrable by growth. Really has nothing to do. Okay. Rotal soil. So now I gotta expect some quakes, but. Now maybe I battle dance. No, I don't battle dance. Well, I'm going to play the Echomaton for the Quake now. Right, so I get some energy out of it. Or do I pump? No, I'll do this. So, Echomaton. And then I'll get some attack out before this thing dies. Uh, do I put two damage there? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna destroy it. Might be wasting a bit of damage, but whatever. And I will hit the middle like that. Okay, so I am vulnerable to like ragged wolf now with that guy, but I don't really mind because I fully expect quake slash frost scales like now. So that Kumatama was kind of clutch because it's going to... Oh, that already increases attack by maybe it is not going to quake. That's surprising. Oh, well, it probably is. He's just like kind of trying to ramp up as much as he can before he does. Well, now I have a battle dance and... Do I win the game? Let's see, if I battle dance scout auto... Let's get rid of the piercing projectile. Although it's kind of cool. Let's get rid of it. Okay. Battle Dance. Yeah, Automaton is probably the biggest play. Hmm. How is these rats are protecting his idols here? So I would have three. Three and a six. They would destroy top idol. That would destroy this idol. This idol would be left at two. Um, you know what? I'll do it anyways. Yeah, I'll do it. Unfortunately, this is going to have its countdown lowered, but whatever. Battle Dance, Scout Automaton. I'm actually really close to winning. I think I could have won actually.
Ah, uh, never mind, I can't. Well, whatever. We end up with two health on his idol. I'm not sure if I could have won there. If I played the Machinated instead of the Scout Auto, maybe I could have. Because I had five attack plus two attack plus two attack on the middle, and then I moved down there. Yeah, actually, I think I missed lethal. Now that I think about it, I think a machinator would have won it. Oops, not positive though. Terrain brute. Great wolf. Does he really not have any quakes? Well, battle dance, and I can win. Get rid of the gun auto. Well, I'll just pump. I'll play Echoments on actually. Protect and protect the things that are attacking, right? I think it's only a matter of time before I can win. Well, actually, a quick frost scale here does does clear my board. I just realized that. Yeah, it does clear my board. No, it doesn't. I'm left with this. Left with a lone cannon automaton. So it does not clear my board. He might. I'm not sure if he hasn't been drawing his quicks and frost scales, or maybe play a different deck. Maybe he's just afraid to because of my echoatons, but he's gonna have to deal with them somehow. GG. Quake. Mangy Wolf. Can I go for the five idols? Yes. Going for the five idol finish. Ah. So that's pretty satisfying. So no gold, I guess, because I just played a bunch of challenge matches late last night. So that'll be it for today. Like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe for more Scrolls content, and I will see you next time.